Welcome to Enchanted Tarot. Before I begin, I would just like to thank my viewers and everyone who has liked, shared, and subscribed to my channel. I would also like to thank those who have purchased a reading with me and to all of those who have commented on my videos. Thank you so much. This is a general reading, so it may or may not resonate with you. If it does not, check your moon and your rising sign for your messages because oftentimes your messages are there. This is going to be for the sign of Scorpio for the month of August going forward. These energies can play out to as much as six months, even up to a year. Now, you have a great card in your overall energy. You have the Wheel of Fortune. So if you have been down on your luck, things are about to get a whole lot better for you. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a very current card. So it can, uh, it can also speak to things coming back around, uh, being caught in that karmic wheel. At the bottom of the mini Rider weight deck, gosh, you got beautiful cards here. <laughs> you have the magician. You have the power. You have everything you need to manifest that which you desire. So set aside any doubts and worries that you may have because you can do this. Now, under that, you have the sun, one of the most positive cards in the whole deck uh, that promises happy outcomes. And the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Cups. I don't even know what to say anymore. <laughs> Should I continue? <laughs> oh my gosh. So um, know that there is an emotional fresh start for you. If you're already in a relationship, that relationship is going to be taken up a level and there is much happiness there for you. At the center of the reading, now, now we get to the bad stuff. No, just kidding. <laughs> well, maybe not. Um, I have the Seven of Cups. So there's a lack of clarity, confusion uh, about something from the past. Okay. Um, and you're so focused upon it that you can't see uh, the opportunity that's right in front of you or, you know, right behind you here. I feel that whatever this is, you do have support of friends and family. Now, what I want you to notice is I have a three here, I have a three here, and I have a, th I have a three there. So for some of you, not all of you, there may have been uh, some sort of deception in your past um, that you, you just weren't happy with that situation. Perhaps somebody stepped outside of the relationship. Perhaps it was another sort of uh, energy, like uh, something that came in between the couple. Um, overworking, uh, addictions, Um, emotional abuse, somebody who was manipulative or controlling. There was some sort of deception in your past. Something happened that caused you a lot of confusion, something you were really not happy with. You see here, you're focused on what has happened on these three cups. Okay, you, you don't, you're not looking at this cup the universe is trying to hand you. And you see here, you're still focused on those three cups. And now the cup the universe was trying to hand you has doubled. You now have two, but you're not seeing it. Here we have the death card, okay, uh, which says that something is ending and something new is about to begin, okay? And this could very well be with someone from your past who you're, you know, perhaps you're having a hard time to forgive uh, a deception or 
uh, perhaps you're just reminiscing on the past, on what happened, on the heartbreak, and you have your guard up. Um, there's some sort of transformation coming to your security, to your home, uh, and this has to do with the past because I do have the Six of Cups there. It is something that touches you emotionally. And there's emotion all throughout this spread here, here, and here. Um, for some of you, as you may have reconciled uh, with this person from the past. The King of Swords, he, um, he can appear harsh and cold. He's got his guard up his sword up. We have the king and the queen here, and then we have the devil. So some sort of third party came between you. And, and this is what you're, you know, it's like you can't stop thinking about it. And they both have their guard up because they've both been hurt by whatever this was here. And so here again, we have this king. Guard is still up. And there's like this, this one last challenge to get to the 10. Everything he's learned all his, on this journey from, uh, from the ace or from the fool up to the, uh, up to the nine here is, is behind him. And the latest lesson he's still holding on to and that's that's your problem you're holding on to some sort of heartache from the past and you need to sever ties with whatever that heartache is so that you can move forward and there you will be able to do this there is a change coming here for you a karmic blessing coming in for you here you have the wheel of fortune twice. You have um, the sun. So whatever this is, there is a happy outcome in it for you. Okay. Yeah, so you know, you are going to be able to uh, get through this, you've got like, <laughs> you're getting your 10 of cups, uh, you've got the sun, you have an emotional fresh start, whether it's with somebody new or whether it's with this person from the past, whatever it is, uh, you do get your Ten of Cups. So that's what I got for you. Thank you so much for watching. If uh, you would like to uh, book a reading, the details on how to do so are in the description box below. And uh, many blessings to you. Bye for now.